Hi, I'm Misha Daniel and I'm here today to talk to you about Minecraft for Education and the classroom mode component that is for teachers. Now, I'm going to say that again. This is for the teachers. The only machine that you install the classroom mode component on is the teacher device. So let's see how this can help us as teachers have a little more control over what our kids are doing in the Minecraft world. Alright, so I logged in as myself. I used my 360 credentials and um, I logged into the teacher, the classroom mode. My son is logged in as a regular student and I can see him. I see Alexander M as you can see here because he is on the same network as I am. If I'm at home and he's at home, we will not be able to do this. We have to be on the same network. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Alexander M, and you'll notice that the first thing I can do is I can see where he is, what the coordinates are of his location on the map. But look at those three lines up in the top left corner. There's a lot of things I can do in here. This is a great menu to, to get started with. So the first thing I can do is I can pause his game. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pause on. Now... Here I am in his game, and notice it says game is paused. I can do that for one student, I can do that for all my students, and that way I can get their attention again, especially if somebody's off task and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, I can chat. I can either have the chat turned on for my students, or I can have it turned off for my students. Now, I will have the ability to chat with each of them, myself as the teacher, but if I don't want my students talking to each other, I can disable that and have that turned off. Uh, I can have perfect weather, which means that it could be raining outside. If I don't want it to be raining and cloudy and misty, I can actually make it so it's sunny all the time. I have the ability to do that as well. Mobs. Mobs are other animals, other living things that are in the Minecraft realm. Some of those mobs are dangerous. Like this one has a picture of a creeper, which means it's a little bit dangerous. So you can decide whether you want those creatures or you don't want those creatures within the Minecraft realm that your students are going to be involved with. Destructive items. This involves TNT and other things, other types of bombs and flares and weapons that may be used to be destructive to other players and may be destructive to uh, structures that have been built within the Minecraft realm. So you can decide whether you want that turned on or turned off. Player damage. Now player damage has to do with the actual health of each individual player. If you don't want them to take any damage, then make sure that this is turned off. World modification. If you don't want them messing with it, maybe you've created this world for them and you don't want them messing it up, turn that off and they will not have the ability to change anything in the world. All they will be able to do is experience it. They won't be able to, to change it in any way. And players being able to damage each other. I'm going to tell you, sometimes this can be a problem if when, when uh, students figure out how they can visit each other's worlds and then they can hurt each other. So if you have this turned off, they won't have that ability to, to harm, do harm to each other and then they die. So this might be something you want to have turned off at the time. So okay, let's look at Alex's world here. And I'm actually going to do something else. Not only do I have all of these other options here, but I also have the ability to teleport players. So I'm going to teleport Alex. So what to do that, I, I type in the slash at the bottom, a TP, and then I need to put in the player name, which is Alexander M. I type that in. And then I need the coordinates for where I want to teleport him to. So I find the coordinates that I want to go to. I type those in. And I push return. And look at that. It tells me that I have teleported Alex. And he's probably like, what happened? I was just in one spot and now I'm in a completely different spot. So let's go to his world now. And you'll see that he's in a different place, and it even tells him that he's been teleported. Okay? But notice that it's raining. This is kind of an important thing. So maybe I don't want it to, to rain anymore. So I'm going to go back onto the, the classroom mode, and I'm actually going to turn on so it has perfect weather. Click on that. Now I'm back at Alex's world, and notice that it has stopped raining and it is sunny outside. It's amazing. I have the power to do that as the teacher. One last thing that I can do as the teacher is I can chat with my students. So I type in hello, and Alex is going to see that hello. Now he may or may not be able to respond to me or to other students based on whether I have the chat turned on or off. I hope this was helpful. This is a really great component, and it's a great way to help you to learn a little bit more about Minecraft and the power that you have as the teacher to see what your kids are doing. Have a great day.